The six inch log cabin trim tool is one of a series of trim tools designed by Jean Ann Wright. It has grip around the outside edge and dots for grip on the entire ruler. The grip stops the ruler from slipping when you're cutting and trimming your blocks. There are also nested squares going down the center of uh, the tool and you place these over the center square in the log cabin to trim up each round as you add the logs. There is a QR code printed right on the tool. That means that you can scan your phone with that at any time and review this video to see how the tool works. There are also icons that show three of the most popular blocks that are made with this tool and cutting instructions right here that tell you what size to cut your center square, which is two inches, and the strips have to be cut at least one and a half inches wide. That is about a quarter of an inch wider than you need, which allows you to trim your blocks after cutting, sewing, and pressing so that any inaccuracies in any one of those steps can be corrected as you trim. So now I'm going to show you how the tool works. A round consists of adding four logs to the center square. And whether you do it counterclockwise or clockwise, it really doesn't matter. So I have added two lights and two darks. And then I'm going to go to the black square right here, place it over the center square in my log cabin. And I'm left-handed, so you are probably right-handed, so we're going to move the tool here. I'm going to trim these two sides, flip the tool, trim the other two sides. Once again, the dash lines are going to line up with the uh, seams and the black square is going to be over the center. When I trim that, you'll see that I have a perfect log cabin again. Now I'm going to add my second set of rounds. I'm going to add two more lights and two more darks. This time I'm going to move to the second square and they are marked on the tool so you don't have to worry about it. And these are marked round one, round two, round three, round four, round five, and round six. So I'm going to put my round two white square on here, trim two sides, flip the block, trim the other two sides, and once again, I have a perfect log cabin. And if you notice, all of my logs are the same width. To do the last round, I'm going to add two lights and two darks once again. This time I move to the round three square, which is in the center of the tool, and I'll trim all the way around the outside of the block to create a six inch finished log cabin that measures six and a half inches at this point. I can also do a courthouse steps. A courthouse steps is uh, trim just like the log cabin except this time I'm adding two lights to opposite sides and two darks. That is round one. When I add my second light and second dark, that is round two. My third light and third dark would be round three. And that completes my courthouse steps block. If I want to do a courthouse steps but I'm using the same fabric for my entire round one, round two, and round three, you get a square and a square log cabin. In this particular case, because there's three rounds, I started with a light. If I am combining it in a pattern, I would make the opposite squares starting with a dark, because if I start with a dark, it's going to end with a light, and then I can put these together to create a design. The fourth block I can make with this is a half log cabin. And the half log cabin, I'm going to add a light and a dark and trim a light and a dark and trim and continue uh, six times. Now that is why there are nested squares going down the entire center part of the ruler because if you're doing the half log cabin you're also going to have to trim round four, five, and six as I'm adding round four, five, and six here. For the final trim, the white square that's in the corner is marked for a, a log cabin, a half log cabin. So I'm going to place that there and trim the entire outside edge of the block. So those are all the types of blocks that you can make with the six inch trim tool.